Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a session whereby you are going to learn and interact together. We are going to have a ballot from 4 lesson 21, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. We are going to handle the topic on uh, reception, response and coordination under the subtopic uh, the sense organs. But before that, we can have the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, we should be able to draw and label the internal structure of the eye. Let us be keen uh, all through the lesson. Um, we have said now we are going to deal with the sense organs whereby you know that in other animals the sensory cells have become associated together to form specialized sense organs with accessory structures. In mammals, the main organs of special sense are the eye for sight, the ear for hearing, the tongue for taste, the nose for smell and the skin for pressure, temperature and pain. So now we are going to look at the eye which is part of the sense organ. Uh, we can say the, uh, the eye is a complex sense organ whose function is to receive light uh, by which an animal perceives and distinguishes um, objects in its immediate environment. So we can have a diagrammatic presentation of the marks of the, of the eyeball uh, as I am explaining them. The eye is located in a socket in the skull called orbit which offers protection against physical damage. Within the orbit there is a fatty layer lining which provides further protection as a shock uh, absorber against mechanical injury. In the socket, the eye is suspended by a set of muscles which move the eye. You can have a diagram the longitudinal uh, actually a uh, section of the mammalian eye such that as I am explaining you can see what we are calling the uh, all the parts of the eye. In the socket, the eye is suspended by a set of muscles which move the eye. Um, the lateral rectus muscles move the eye left and right we can have uh, the rectus muscles on in this our diagram you can look at them from there uh, superior and inferior rectus muscles move the eye up and down while the oblique muscles steer the eye in its up and down movement in front of the eyeball there are two thin folds of skin which are known as the eyelids which protect uh, the eye from the edge of the eyelids are many hairs called eyelashes which protect the eye from the entry of small foreign uh, that is foreign particles. The eyebrows are raised portions of the skin above the eye, thickly covered with air, whose function is to represent sweat. Uh, that is, uh, is to prevent sweat and dust from entering the, uh, from entering the eye. Can have them from there. Uh, we have uh, in land vertebrates there is a lacrimal uh, gland that continuously secretes a watery saline and antiseptic fluid, which we normally call tear. Uh, we call tears. The tears moisten the cornea and wash foreign particles out of the eye. The fluid drains through the lacrimal gland into the nose. Uh, in mammals, including humans, the lacrimal gland is beneath the upper eyelid. You can have the upper eyelid from this diagram. Uh, while in other animals, it is located beneath the lower eyelid. In amphibians, reptiles, birds, some fish and some mammals, e.g. cat. There is a transparent membrane called nictitating membrane which is drawn across the eye to clean it. The mammalian eye is a spherical fluid filled structure whose wall consists of three distinct layers. We have the outer layer which is known as the sclera. We have got the middle layer which is made up of the choroids. We have got the inner layer which is made up of the uh, retina. So we are saying that the mammalian eye is a spherical fluid filled structure which has got three layers. The first layer is the um, sclerotic layer, which is the sclera. We have got the middle layer, as you can see from our diagrammatic presentation, which is called the choroid. And we have got the inner layer, which is known as the fovea. So um, we can have uh, some um, a quick uh, look at each layer, whereby in the sclera, that is, this is the white fibrous layer, which protects the delicate inner parts of the eyeball and helps in maintaining its shape. The sclera continues and forms the cornea at the front of the eye. You can have uh, the choroid, which you have said is the second layer. This is a dark pigmented membranous middle layer that contains numerous blood vessels. Its function is to absorb street light to prevent internal reflection within the eye and to provide nourishment to the eye. At the front of the eye, the choroid extends and forms the ciliary body and the iris. We can have uh, what we call the retina, uh, which you have said is the third um, Layer. The retina is the light sensitive layer which is composed of three uh, regions. We have an outer pigmented region in contact with the choroid. 
we have a middle region of photoreceptors consisting of the rods and cones and we have an, an innermost region of neurons whereby these neurons run over the surface of the retina and join to form the optic nerve which transmit nerve impulses. Having done and said that, we can have the following activity whereby you are required to draw and label the internal structure of the eye and uh, to get the more of this lesson that is about the eye, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 4, which is the fourth edition, the Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this lesson and many more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS through the number that is on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all these lessons and we shall get uh, enjoyable uh, biology lessons. Thank you.